Today I'm going to be showing you how I made the spaghetti and meatballs cake. I'm going to start out with three 12 inch white almond cakes and fill them with almond buttercream. Once I have a final coat of buttercream on my cake, I can start to roll out my fondant. I'm going to roll out one long strip to wrap around the sides of the cake because we won't need the top cover. Making sure to put the seam in the back. I use my rolling pin to roll up the fondant gently to make it easier to place on the cake. Once you have the sides nice and smooth, you can trim away the excess from the top. Using my fondant smoother, I press in the bottom at an angle to give the bottom of the pan more definition. Now I'm going to roll out a long strip of fondant about half an inch wide and place it around the top of the cake. Now it's time to add our handles. I'm using a hand pump bottle filled with silver luster dust to cover the outside of the cake to make it look more like metal. Using white and two shades of red fondant, I cut out squares and cover the cake board to look like a plaid tablecloth. Now it's time to make our noodles. I'm going to be using a clay extruder to make the individual noodles to put on top of the cake. Now it's time to make our garlic and meatballs.
going to use scrunched up tin foil to texture the brown balls of fondant to make them look more like meatballs. Now it's time to make the wooden spoon. After we place the spoon on the cake board, we can paint it to look more like wood. I'm using watered down brown airbrush food coloring. After we place the meatballs on the cake, it's time to cover them in sauce. For the sauce, I'm using red buttercream that I warmed up in the microwave to thin out so that it will pour nicely over our meatballs and noodles. it off I put a red ribbon around the cake board. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to get notifications about a new cake video each week.